Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day one for our FortiGate Firewall training series. As this is an introduction class, I am going to talk about what are the topics that I am going to cover in this video series. In this video, I will be talking about what Fortinet is, what are the product line and what that does. And also, I will be sharing a few of the stats. Uh, I'll be talking about later so I'll request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand those points that will be very helpful for you and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends now we'll move further and we'll understand about Fortinet company so as you know guys uh, Fortinet is a global network security leader it was founded in 2000 and it has 100 plus offices, 5000 plus employees, 1 billion revenue, 19% growth in a year. So think about how fast they are growing right now. 3.6 million device already shipped, 467 patent issues. So in research and development, how much they are investing and how much they are getting patents each and every day. Now if I talk about the history of Fortinet, it was started in 2000 and after that in 2002 they have launched FortiGate and FortiOS 1.0, then Manager, then UTM, then Security Processor, Wi-Fi, then a Security Processor Chip, then AP they have shipped 1 million devices then security appliances and boxing then 1 TB firewalls then internal segmentation firewalls 2 million units shipped then like right now they are having 40 OS 6.0 it has a lot of features right now there are a lot of improvement happened uh, from uh, these years as I was working one uh, with one of the partner uh, for Fortinet and uh, like it I was working with 4.0 that uh, version was like very buggy for the uh, small uh, devices like the lower end devices uh, like few of the features will not work but they have already given it so maybe they have done some some of the improvements we'll see uh, in our practical labs how it is working right now as uh, if i give an example for you uh, let's say if somebody if fortinets is telling that you can block some urls but if you turn on those features you will not be able to do that maybe that is a, that is that that may be a bug with uh, that particular device or something or maybe it is not matching or uh, with the device uh, configuration or something but whereas if i do it on um, like the higher end or the medium end uh, devices it was working so they might have improved a lot of things during the time so friends, uh, if I talk about the product line of uh, FortiGate, uh, if you can see over here, like they have uh, devices from switches, Wi-Fi, webcam, PBX, Forti Tester, Forti Tab, Forti Mail, DB, Sandboxing Manager, Forti Authenticator. 40 van so they have lot of products with the let's say if you want to build a data center you can go to Fortinet directly and you can get those product and you can build your data center but in case of Fortinet or uh, sorry Palo Alto or checkpoint you cannot do that right but if you go to Cisco yeah you can build your own data center with the help of cisco vendor because they are having all the product lines whatever you need wireless switches routers everything same way in fortinet also you can get all those things all those devices which helps you to build your data center as well as your 
sites, everything you can build with the help of FortiGate devices. So friends, now we'll move further and we'll talk about Forti OS 6.0, what exactly new in this. So you get a lot of things in it. So yeah, if I talk about API, automation, fabric agent, tagging, SD-WAN, connector, FortiGuard, everything you can do in single OS. They have a lot of features. They have a lot of features that are enabled right now. So we'll see in the upcoming uh, videos how it performs and how. So friends, if I talk about Gardner Magic Quadrant Report, uh, Fortinet is a runner up and Paulo Alto is kind of a, like uh, he's, he's securing the first place as Fortinet is also a leader. So having a very huge product line, Fortinet is also maintaining their quality as well. So friends, now we'll move further and we'll talk about uh, the certification path the Palo Alto is having right now. So it starts with one until eight. Okay. So these two certification, you can do it online. So first and the second, you can do it online. This is not required because this is for sales trainer or the Fortinet uh, employees or maybe with the partner. So you don't need it right now. If you are a partner or a sales trainer, so you should have to get this one. And after that, uh, this NSC4 that you have to do it and you have to go to exam center and you have to do it. I'll talk about little bit uh, regarding this one. We'll go to the website of Fortinet and we'll talk about that. So let me just go to the website first. NSC Fortinet. So they have like a professional analysts, specialist, architect, and expert. So this certification you can do it online itself. So where you have to go, you have to go here, and you have to enroll for this one NSC one Information Security Awareness course. So you have to go. You have to register yourself okay uh, not this one i guess you have to go to this institute training this one so you have to submit your details or maybe if you have like account so you can just log in as i'm a public right now i'm not a partner so yeah i'll be just logging in So as you can see, you can just go here and start your course. So I have not chosen any course till now. So if I talk about the certification, if I talk about uh, professional, the NSC4, if you want to get started, there are a lot of uh, topics that you need to cover and also Fortinet also conducts uh, few classes and you can go to their partner center and you can uh, study or complete your certification as well but in this video series i'll be covering all those points which is there in this so in this i guess we have a lot of uh, topics that which we can uh, cover so see the lesson one security policies lesson three NAT firewall authentication login so these are the things that i'm going to cover in this video series so if you guys are interested very much interested i'll highly recommend you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and also in this video what i'm going to do is like see i need your support guys uh, because see uh, it it cannot be happening uh, one side so if you guys are interested, I want you to please share your experience. Let's say if you want uh, to share some uh, some of the tips that you have followed in your organization and you want to uh, put it uh, to our community, that should be very much helpful. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it on YouTube as well. 
if you want to uh, present your uh, some experience or something you can just send me an email we can do something we can share to our community as well so that should be very helpful okay so i'll be talking about all those topics in this video series and also i want you guys to very supportive let's suppose if you have any any kind of information uh, which i am not aware or i have not covered you can just let me know so that i can cover as well okay in analyst okay so if i if you understand so you have to complete this in this uh, module you have lot of things like 40 analyzer client ems manager sim the lot of things okay analyst security analyst if you want to be a specialist so what are the things that you have to cover in this training so it is 40 ads authenticator mail web nac 40 voice integrated okay so if I talk about architecture, so these are the product that you have, you should be very good with and an expert, you have to be good with everything. <laughs> there is nothing. You have like uh, a written examination and then a practical examination, the same way what we have with the CCI. Okay. So these are the things that you have to be followed and if you want to become expert in 48 yeah you can do that but yeah we'll start with professional and i'll recommend you to please complete first and second okay if you are not sure how to do that i guess it is very simple to answer all those questions um i guess if you have like basic fundamental of uh, firewall you will be able to answer it if you are not then i'll be covering the fi firewall fundamentals you can see that video and you can go for the examination okay that is and apart from that thank you so much for watching my video and this is what and if you have any any kind of suggestion uh, put me in the comments or you can send me an email or maybe you can uh, send me a message through Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, whatever, wherever you want to do that. So I will be well welcoming you for the new course in Fortigit and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much.